Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boonbabe and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all another old school RuneScape video and this time it's going to be a guide on my top three skills I would focus on as a new player. So a lot of these videos I've been putting out recently have been free to play focused and that's because Michelle and I are still in this little competition between the both of us on who can get free to play to bond first. If that sounds interesting to you at all, make sure to check out the channel or I'll also have the video in the description below. So before I jump into the first skill in this video, I did want to preface that this is not a guide to end all guides. It's not how to progress your account perfectly, but rather just a general recommendation if you're looking for a little direction as a newer player. And if there's something you enjoy in the game, such as a skill or a moneymaker, you should definitely continue doing that because at the end of the day, all progress on the account will lead to having a stronger account in the end, especially once you hit members. So if you don't really want to try these things or you have and you dislike them, don't feel bad or feel like you're doing anything wrong. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everyone plays the game differently. So with that done and out of the way, we can get into the very first skill and I think this is going to surprise most players. So the first skill that I wanted to recommend on this list is going to be woodcutting. Now, before you totally exit out of this video and think I'm crazy, uh, hear me out because I actually have some good reasons for this and I've recently fallen in love with the skill. So a lot of reasons that players actually dislike woodcutting is the reasons that I'm going to list it as a pro and why you should try it out. So woodcutting is good because you get wood and it's AFK. A lot of people think it is slow, but I actually think it's one of the best AFK skills in the game. A lot of times if I'm doing something like editing a video, playing a different game, or just watching some Netflix or anime, whatever, I can be woodcutting in the background. It can take minutes, sometimes a, like 10 plus minutes to cut down a magic tree. Obviously that's for members only, but the premise still stands for yew trees, which can take minutes on end themselves. So on top of it becoming more and more AFK as you level it, it actually provides you a ton of useful materials along the way. You can use your logs right away if you want to level something such as fire making or you can save it for whenever you become a member. They can be used for a ton of things from crafting stuff, mainly fletching of course, and also it can be really helpful for making birdhouses. On top of that, all of the best places to cut wood such as Edgeville where I'm at here, Sears Village and of course the Woodcutting Guild are all very close to banks so it's not going to take you a long time getting there, there's minimal requirements and it's extremely cheap to get started. As far as leveling goes, it's also extremely simple. You're just going to move up in tree until you finally reach you. It's actually recommended that you stick around Maple and Willow for quite some time as it'll give you much more experience. But like I said, if you want to move on to more AFK methods, you're simply going to move up from tree to tree as you get them unlocked. As far as gold per hour goes, it's definitely not going to be notable. It'll make you some money starting out, especially if you're a new new player. But there's definitely other money makers that you should prioritize if this is what you're going for. What's nice is you can focus on the experience early if you'd like and if you are a member maybe you can even try doing a couple of two or three ticking methods to make the experience outrageous. And if at any point you decide that you want to go back to the AFK lifestyle it's as easy as changing your tree. So I like the flexibility there as well. So that's going to be about it for the first skill that I wanted to recommend. Maybe if that didn't convince you, then you can try out the second one, which I think is a lot more convincing. So for the second skill that I think a lot of people would actually agree that you should focus on is going to be crafting. So here in the background, I'm crafting diamond necklaces. And what's one of the main things that's great about crafting is it's one of the few skills that you can reasonably level with a decent amount of experience per hour and also make money at the same time. Unfortunately, you are severely limited as a free to play player. When it comes to crafting, you're mainly going to stick to leather for the first few levels. But as soon as you get access to gold and jewelry, that's essentially where you'll stay for the majority of the time. The gold per hour as well as the experience per hour are actually highly dependent on each other. So it's likely that you're going to make lower level items for more profit. But if you want more experience, you're obviously going to have to bump up the items that you're making, making you less profit overall. So it really depends on what you want at the time. And a really good example of that is if you want to make a ton of profit, then it's likely you're going to be making something such as emerald rings or sapphire rings, which can be turned into rings of recoil and rings of dueling. These are very popular and practically everyone uses them in members worlds. 
In stark contrast to this, you can make quite a bit more experience doing diamond necklaces as you see I'm doing now. This requires a higher level, but on top of that, it's not nearly as requested in members or free to play worlds. So you're just simply not gonna get as good of a margin when it comes to resale value. So you might still make money doing higher level stuff like this, but if that's your main goal, then you're gonna have to sacrifice some experience. With that being said, if you want a little more in-depth of a guide, I actually have a guide on free-to-play money makers about this exact thing, crafting that is, as well as the next thing I have up on the list, which I'm going to show you right now. So it's likely if you have any experience in old school RuneScape, you could have guessed this top one. It's also the top one on that free-to-play video that I was just talking about, and it's going to be magic. Magic is definitely one of my favorite skills as once you get up and going, it's actually really easy. You can level it by a ton of different methods, whether you want a safe spot like I am showing here, whether you want to superheat items, enchant jewelry, enchant bolts. There's honestly a ton of different ways to level it and a lot of them actually make you money or are just extremely easy. And if you want to get really serious when it comes to leveling it, this as well as the ranged skill are two of the fastest skills in the game to level, especially once you unlock the ancient magic spellbook. This allows you to burst hitting nine plus enemies all at one time. You can see huge experience per hour values, but that is really an end game thing and a members only thing. Even here though, you can see a ton of experience and gold per hour if you wanted to do something such as high alchemy. So a quick rundown of High Alchemy is it's a level 55 skill that essentially allows you to turn items into raw gold. This can make you a ton of money and this is the money maker I'm referencing from my other free to play money making video. So I do know that as a newer player a high level such as 55 might be a little intimidating but there's actually a ton of different ways that you can level this so you'll never actually get bored. You can use it to make money with tele grabbing. You can just randomly teleport places that'll give you experience. You can also use it to safe spot and fight a ton of mobs like I'm doing here. And if you want, you can even just splash on mobs doing no damage at all. All of this is gonna level your magic and it's pretty AFK and easy to do. What's even better is on your way to higher level magics, you're gonna get more powerful abilities and also extremely useful abilities that I already mentioned, such as super heat item. And on top of all of that, you'll gain the ability to teleport to a few really important places throughout Gilnor. If all of that isn't enough, you also get access to some of the best money makers in the game. And that's all just with one skill. So it's definitely an impressive skill and why it's gonna be at the top of my list. Of course, like I said at the beginning of this video, this isn't a guide written in stone and it's not to be taken as law. This isn't the best way to progress your account. It's just the way I enjoyed progressing the account. A lot of this stuff I didn't find out until much later and there's stuff I didn't reference such as crafting will get you the crafting cape, which is arguably one of the best capes in the game, but you can't use crafting capes as a free to play player. So I didn't want to mention too many members things. So that's going to be it as far as this video goes. I really hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully this video gave you some inspiration to maybe go back and try one of these skills that you maybe gave up on when you first started playing. And also if you're a free to play player or if you're a member and just remember when you first started playing as a free to play player and these three skills weren't on the first things you did, let me know which ones you started out with. I know personally, I kind of like everyone else just got my strength as high as possible until I realized that there's actually more than one skill in the game. So again, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Thank you again for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all very soon.